hope you're having a good day. I am filming my weekly uh, new makeup and skincare video here from home because yesterday it was so hot in the car and I just felt like I didn't want to put my phone through that plus I was just hot. And this is Friday morning so I'm a little bit late so this probably is going up late. We'll see. Hopefully I'll get time today to edit and get it up. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and get started. If this is your first time here, I'm Vicki, and I've been doing this video now for at least six months, I believe, and I like to talk about new makeup and skincare. I, I've always loved talking and seeing what the brands are coming out with every, you know, every week or, you know, before it was, we only got the magazines and we could see what was coming. Now we have the internet and we get to see it all the time. So that's good. Now, most of my information comes from other people's accounts. You know, maybe one day a brand will reach out to me and, you know, let me have a sneak peek. Until then, if it ever happens, I'll use other people's and I always list them below the Instagram accounts that I visit to get my information from. And of course you can visit them too. Of course, I try to post on my Instagram every day if I see something and sometimes I will not include them in the video and sometimes I will. Now I'm gonna go ahead and say that I'm not gonna probably cut out covering ColourPop because we know they have a release every week. If it's something major like a collab or something they do with somebody, then I may. But anyway, I'm just gonna say right now, I'm cutting out ColourPop because you know, it's a release every week of something. So, you know, they'll be coming out with something. That's all I gotta say about that. Of course, Samantha March is the inspiration for this type video and for inspiring me to do it because I first started talking about new makeup probably in my first or second video, but I didn't feel anybody was interested. And then I thought, I'm just gonna do it for myself. If anybody wants to watch, they can. If they don't, you go right on, right on. <laughs> okay, let's start with Biosance. Of course, Biosance is a plant-based clean beauty brand at Sephora. They've come out with a body cream, body toning cream. And this seems to be the trend this summer for a lot of brands. A deeply hydrating body cream powered by caffeine and niacinamide to visibly tone skin. Now this did look pretty good, uh, $28. I'd like to smell of it to see what it smells like. That hair is gonna drive me crazy. <laughs> anyway, I would like to smell it just to see. $28 is not, it's less than Boom Boom Cream from Sol de Janeiro. So, you know, I'd like to smell it if I'm ever in Sephora and I see it. But I haven't been in Sephora in probably a year now, close to it. Anyway, we'll move on. Elf Cosmetics. Of course, um, let me pull it up here on my iPad. I know there's more to it now. Let's see if I see it. Well, anyway, I don't see another trim mood. I've got trim mood open right now. Maybe it was hot fire makeup that had the, there's more to it. There's little, some bite sized palettes, but all I have down is a lip balm and brow. And maybe it's the brow pop products I'm seeing in the picture on hot fire makeup. But anyway, we got a, a mini lip balm in mint, coconut, berry, and watermelon. And then we have the bite size brow. Okay, the bomb is $4, the brow is $3, and we have blonde, taupe, neutral brown, auburn, dark brown, and black. So, that'll be available today, the 23rd, so if you wanna look at that, I'd say go to Elf's site, because I doubt it's in any store right yet. Okay, Huda Beauty. <laughs> okay, Huda's come out with a, you know, we have a primer, for our eyelashes. Well, now we have a top coat. And I think Estee Lauder tried this one time. I don't know. Anyway, I don't know how I feel about it. I think it's going to be $16. And, or that says 16 pounds. So it'd probably be $20 here. Anyway, make, make eyelashes waterproof, tearproof, sweatproof, and smudge proof. This formula works by harnessing front film formers and resins to coat each lash, each lash. Now, if it would hold my curl, I would be interested. I'll just have to wait and see what I, if anybody reviews it that I watch. Okay, Glossier. Now, I haven't talked about Glossier much, but 
anyway, and they don't come out with much. They're not one of those brands that, you know, comes out something every other week, but this is a bronzer cream. Of course, their, their line is geared toward the no makeup look, and I need to get me some water. I'm a, I think I need to stop this video and get me some water, so I'll be back. Okay, I got me some coffee. We'll see if that helps. Okay, Olaplex. Of course, Olaplex is hair products. And I don't talk about hair products much. This is the new 4-in-1 Moisture Mask. It's available on their app right now. Um, but it's coming soon, I think, to the, the regular stores that sell Olaplex. Now, I did try to see if I could get this through someone that has been able to get me some professional merchandise at a good price. But it said not available yet. So, anyway. It's as intense moisture, moisture while providing shine and body to treat damaged hair. Oils and 11 t vital amino acids provide a, a luscious insulin deep conditioning treatment with or without a chemical service works quickly and efficiently to address dryness in even the most severe cases. Now I do not, my ends are dry. My scalp is normal to oily. So I would think I would only put it from like my, my ears down. Um, and also you have to remember if you live in a humid environment, adding moisture back to your hair might not be the thing to do. That's why I use the smooth products. Um, Cause smooth does not necessarily mean moisture. So I've learned that over the years. Okay, herbivore. Available now at Sephora, the Coco Rose Soft Body Glow Oil, a lightweight nourishing body oil that uses a blend of coconut oil, vegan squalane, and rose to leave skin feeling silky smooth, soft, diffused, and glow, glowy. It is $38, okay. And then coming soon is the Pink Cloud Soft Moisture Cream, a dreamy moisturizer that visibly plumps skin with hydration and restores its bounce with Tremelia, mushroom, and vegan squalene, or squalene. And that was $44. Okay, the next thing is the Aquarius Pore Purifying BHA Cream. $44, lightweight moisturizer powered by soothing blue tansy and clarifying willow bark BHA that purifies pores and visibly balances skin. Okay, that sounds pretty good. I would have to look at the ingredients though when it comes out to see if I, that's something I would like. Now, I kind of fried my skin this week. <laughs> I haven't talked about it on my Instagram stories, but I got a new vitamin C from Oz Naturals. I've used their vitamin C before. I don't know if because this one was so fresh or Maybe they changed the formula. I don't know, but I mean, it, you know, I, of course I put it in my hand and I mean, I slathered it on and the next day, right in my creases here, I mean, you're talking about burning like crazy. And I'm thinking, what did I, and that's the only thing I had added. So I've had to kind of doctor my skin this week, but anyway, when I get home, I'm ready to get my makeup off. Now I probably should have went without makeup, but you know me, I can't go without makeup. So even with wearing a mask, I can't do it. I just feel like I look awful and I just, I don't know that I actually could do my job in a good way if I didn't have my makeup on. So people can say I'm addicted to it. I'm addicted to it. Okay, Jackie Ina Candles is coming to Sephora. We've got the Cake Up Candle, $38. The Left On Read Candle, $38. The Cuffin Season Candle, $38. The Matcha Business Candle, $38. The Grown Folks Business Candle, $38. The We Not LinkedIn Candle, $38. The Mini Candle Set, Gift Set, Sin Moods, $48. I guess, I mean, to me, that's, I know some people pay much more for candles, but to me, that's atrocious. I would never pay that much for a candle. And I especially, after knowing someone that works for a candle factory, that does candles for these big companies who charge astronomical prices for them. I can't in my good conscience buy candles 
like that. Now from somebody who makes them in their home, or if you know the company is reputable and they're not treating their workers like trash, then, you know, I think that's fine. But unless you know where that candle's coming from, and I don't know how they get away with it in this day and time in the United States. So I'm just gonna leave it at that. If anybody wants to know more, DM me. I can tell you a whole story. Okay, Wayne Goss. Wayne Goss has, is coming out with the Luxury Eye Palette in Pearl, a romantic eye palette. And this one looks more like one I would be interested in. I saw it. It's got some of the pink top colors in it, I believe. This one interests me more than the first one. So I may buy this one and, you know, because I need to review it anyway. So I may, I may take the plunge and buy this one. Okay, Tatcha new addition to the indigo line the indigo overnight repair and this has like a book with it i'm not gonna read it all it's talking about the ingredients but the basis of visibly visibly calm irritation strengthen skin barrier and balance the microbium or microbome ever how you pronounce that maximizes the skin's nightly renewal process for a soothing evening ritual that restores compromised skin while you rest now that's probably what i need right now I uh, don't see, oh, $88, but I'm not going to buy it. I'm not going to pay $88 to relax because I can get the First Aid Beauty cream, and that's what I used last night, and it felt great. So I, you know, and also uh, Peachy Skin Care, I had a little bit of their moisturizer, and I'd used that before. I mean, like, the night before. So those two, definitely not $88, and probably do a better job, in my opinion. That's just my opinion. Okay, Benefit. New Hula Contourist Bronze and Contour Palette, limited edition. Now, I don't know why this is limited edition. It's stupid, $32. Because I was thinking, this looks like a nice contour palette, limited edition. Hula Matte Powder Bronzer, Light Light Powder Bronzer, Caramel Medium Deep Powder Bronzer, Hula Toasted Deep Powder Bronzer. Oh well, it's limited edition. So if you want it, bear grab it, $32. Okay, Laura Mercier has come out with a new light catcher setting powder. Light creating setting powder with 12 hour pore blurring, skin smoothing, and no photo flashback. Sets makeup to prolong wear up to 12 hours. Absorbs excess oil, reduces and controls shine. Melts into skin, $39. Now this one sounds more like mature, for like mature skin. So I might have to try it. Okay, we got Celestial Light, Fair to Light, Honey Star, Medium with olive golden undertones and cosmic rose medium to deep okay desi skin of course desi perkins brand is coming out with a new prep set and refresh face mist uh 34 it says continuous so i don't know if this is like the morphe setting spray and you know that it comes in a can aerosol can and it continuous i don't know that but it did look interesting uh wow cell beauty is launching their new Slim Matte Velvet Radical Matte Lipstick. And I'll insert the pictures, of course. Full coverage lipstick delivers intense and long-lasting semi-matte color that does not bleed or crack. The lipstick is infused with silky oils for easy application and creamy comfort. The square bullet allows for precise lines to complete your makeup look. Price is $39. I don't know. <laughs> I can find good lipstick at the drugstore. Now, and I do, I do like a little bougie lipstick every now and then, you know. I'm not going to admit that I don't, but anyway, that one don't interest me. Okay, Charlotte Tilbury. This is a new palette, a large 12-pan palette coming, and fall for 21, and definitely not my color story. I wrote this down, and also, I believe that Chick Profile put that in hers, too. Of course, you'll see the picture of it. It's not something I would buy. But anyway, it's coming, and some of you may think it's beautiful. Dior. Now, this one's beautiful. Birds of a Feather collection is dropping at the end of the month in Asia, followed shortly by international launch. These photos are beautiful, but if you want to see live swatches, make sure you check out Chick Profile Official. <laughs> and it is beautiful. I will say this one if I bought if I 
bought luxury makeup, I'd make sure I had this one. But I don't really buy that much luxury other than lipsticks. Chanel. Okay, this is the Rue de Cambon face powder. And it is being limited released in Japan. It says it won't be an Asian exclusive. So it'll probably be in the fine Chanel boutiques. So, but it may be limited. So, but it is beautiful. Of course, the picture of it up there is beautiful. Shantakai. This one I did put on my Instagram the day it was released or the day you could pre-order. This is their famous perfect blur finishing powder that she keeps bringing back. She says now it's permanent, but she keeps bringing it back in limited packaging and it's $84. I don't know if it's worth $84, but whatever. Okay. Well, this is, a, this is not the last thing I want to talk about, but it is the last thing I have on here. And this is Lord Valdemart. And for those of you who follow me regularly, you know who I'm talking about when I say Lord Valdemort. <laughs> it's that guy, you know, with long, well, he doesn't have long hair. He's got short pink hair right now, I think. You know, skinny guy. Has his own brand. Introducing the Pink Religion Artistry Palette and Collection. This is a one of a kind. 18 pan Bible is a dream. The full reveal video will be on uh, Lord Valdemar's channel tomorrow morning, which is today. Get ready for the next chapter, extreme payoff. Now I have seen him wearing this and I gotta see the inside of it. Let's just put it that way. Cause you know, I'm a pinky girl, but it depends on the pink. Uh oh, I got something from work home. <laughs> take it back to work all right the other two things i was going to talk about is as you know we're getting to august and we're if we're supposed to start seeing sephora inside some of the coals and ulta inside target now i haven't been to my coals in ages but i've seen them not doing any kind of work on the outside this shows a sephora sign outside so i'd say i'm not getting the sephora which doesn't surprise me, this is a small town. But I think a Sephora could do well here, especially since Belk has lost Longcom. So anyway, that's all I got to say. I hope y'all had a great, I hope y'all had a great week and I hope you have a great weekend. I am gonna come back Sunday with a weight loss video and it may be me doing a get ready with me, just chit chatting. I got some things I wanna say. I'm gonna try to write down some notes and talk about, um, you know, I I did carnivore for a while, for about a month, and then I went back to what I call ketovore or meat-based. I do throw in some vegetables, and I have been throwing in some strawberries occasionally. So I'm gonna talk about all that. I'm gonna talk about when I went out to eat last Saturday and the results from that, since I hadn't been there in a year. And, you know, we'll just talk about some stuff like that. You know, I have different experience. Everybody's body's different. So we all have different experiences with, you know, eating plans. And I think it's always different when you're a food addict. And as I've said before, I've not been diagnosed as a food addict. I don't know if anybody can really truly be diagnosed as a food addict. I don't know. I'm a food addict, I do believe, because I crave stuff no matter what. And it's not that, it's just, I got people in front of me all the time eating cookies. And some days, I can say to heck with them cookies. And some days, I'm like, I gotta get out of here or I'm gonna go over there and eat the whole bag. So anyway, I'm gonna shut up. This video is long enough. I appreciate all of you watching. If you've not subscribed, I'd love to have you. Of course, make sure to leave me a comment if any of this interests you. If anything don't interest you, just tell me that too. It's all good. You know, we can't have it all. So I'll talk to y'all later. Love you. Bye.